Welcome back, everybody. A unique Seattle walking tour offers up an unforgettable experience. The Strange Seattle Walking Tour is hosted by two comedians from the UK. It includes juggling, magic tricks, and stories about Seattle's more unusual history. Please welcome Dominic Gavin and Flying Mickey Finnegan. Welcome to you both. Hello. Thank you. Hello. How do a couple of Brits get into uh, the Seattle history walking tour business? Well, I was doing a comedy walking tour back in the UK and um, there's so many tourists here in Seattle, there's so many visitors, that I thought it would work here perfectly. And Pioneer Square, where we do the walk, it's a lovely area, it's a nice leafy treed, shady area with not much traffic, and um, it just lends itself perfectly to a, a comedy walking tour. To the kind of thing that you want. Now, what about your comedy background and what brought you to Seattle? So, um, like Dominic, I've got a background in street theatre, which is how, how we know each other through, through mutual friends in street theatre. But I actually came to Seattle um, because uh, my wife is uh, American. I, I met her here. And it's not a bad place to spend the summer. Fantastic. I love it here. <laughs> As it, you can I, see outside. And you yeah. say you can teach anybody to juggle, so I think you should be selling like instructional videotapes also for <laughs> those are, of us there's who are, plenty of people doing who are <laughs> frustrated about all of this. Okay, tell me about the average tour. What, what happens? So it's, um, it's not historical, it's hysterical. Yeah, okay. We, we, we're a, a, <laughs> kind of a fact checker's nightmare. It's, uh, it's, uh, not everything that we say should be taken with a very large pinch <laughs> okay. of salt. Okay, so don't like pin your PhD on these, no, these I mean, there factoids. Is a, there is a certain amount of history, and then we make fun of that history. Okay. And then we make yeah. fun of the fact that, as English people, we don't quite understand Americans. Yeah. <laughs> and if you, if we you, make fun of ourselves. And yeah, it's, it's What a do lot you of fun. find oddest about us? Oh, uh, well, you'd like everything to be bigger and better over here. Yeah, we you know, do. Everything's but bigger and better. Like, um, and brand new. There's no small, medium, and large. It's, it's regular, large, and extra large. Mm -hmm. Like America, for example, is the only country in the world, apart from Belize, that still uses Fahrenheit. Mm. And I think it's because it sounds... It's bigger. The numbers are bigger. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. it sounds more impressive. I can't imagine the legendary rock band Foreigner changing their lyrics to, well, I'm hot-blooded, check it and see. I got a fever of 39. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's just just, a, no, it just doesn't work. Thing. Yeah. Although yeah. that would be quite hot. Mm -hmm. It would. Once, yeah. once, it once you it do would. the, it's 103. The and, math. And, and That's I, the I, other I, problem: is mm -hmm. the math for conversion is very hard, and therefore people don't are not interested. Well, in right. people don't like to change, do they? Yeah. Get, you get stuck in your ways. So maybe, maybe and, so. We'll work on that. What are some of the stories that you tell about Seattle that might or might not be true? Oh, we um, we have some some characters uh, that we've kind of made up along the way, um, who may or may not exist <laughs> or have existed <laughs> so, so we, we we kind of play along it's it, it's tell us one so we have um we have badger face cody mm -hmm. the character who uh is somebody who falls for some card tricks yeah mm. and is this from the old west is that he, when yeah he's when a prospector he's a prospector yeah. of course that mm -hmm. makes perfect yeah. sense mm -hmm. Perfect sense indeed. Okay, so where do these stories come from? Just your imagination, or do you pin them partially on some kind of history we and pin then them go partially from there? on the history? You know, it's more or less set around the 1890s when Pioneer uh, Square, all the buildings were built. They were all built in about 1890, 1891. So we've based our characters around that area. Around that time. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going to walk away and think this is true and tell it to others. Well, well, some people and do. And we're yeah. going to be even less historical <laughs> than we are currently. We yeah. are quite upfront at the beginning. So <laughs> we tell, we tell, we tell yeah. people no, not to trust us. Yeah. So we've, we've got English accents, so we're the bad guys. So. <laughs> no, that always makes you more believable. Well, that's, we that's think right. you're smarter than us yeah. because the accent is so elegant. Uh, so let me tell you th uh, this part. This is a free tour, which is like so cool. Hardly mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. in the summer is free for tourists. Why aren't you charging for this? Well, we wanted to do it the first year just to see how much people want to pay. Yeah. And then we can judge it next year as to how much to charge. Mm -hmm. Also, we want to make it affordable because there's so much stuff out there that's it's expensive. And if you've got teenage kids with you, right. you can come on this and it doesn't cost the earth. You yeah. don't have to be 21. You can all join in. It's a family-friendly thing. Do you so, so, involve so, so, people? Do they we get do. to participate? Yeah. We do. In so, fact, at the very beginning of the t uh, walking tour, you've got a chance to win some money mm -hmm. by taking part in a small challenge. Really? I don't want to give away too many details, but if you succeed in the challenge, then you can walk away with $20. $20 mm -hmm. cash mm -hmm. money. Yeah, Has absolutely. anybody won that money? No. no. So <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought that might be yeah. important to know the ratio of success. Yeah. Zero. Yes. <laughs> uh, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. What were you about to say? Uh, so um, a lot of the time, people do want to pay, so we do accept tips. Oh, on, on the that's tour. good. Because so, yeah. yeah. people have to eat. And, oh yes, and we accept tips whatnot. at the end. All right. And let's. My, my children eat dollar bills. Do they? So, yeah. Yes. It feels like they do, don't they? Do, they? Yeah. Or maybe twenty dollar bills, <laughs> yeah. as it turns out. Okay. So you do some things along the way, some magic tricks, some juggling. So let's start with some juggling. Okay. Which I admire because I have tried and so tried. So I'm going to have to stand up for this. Okay. okay. Should I get out of the way? Are you okay? No, nope, this is fine. So uh, I'll do a few tricks. This one is for those who have OCD and like everything oh to be goodness. naturally Even? in order. That's right. And this is for those who like chaos. Ooh, oh my gosh. How are you doing this? And then um, I do a final trick, which is where I catch one on the back of my neck. Uh, okay. So, and remember, these are bocce balls, so these are very right, heavy. I'm these are heavy, 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 heavy balls. Up. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay. This one's a sponge ball. <laughs> you scared me to death. <laughs> You're okay, right? I'm fine. So there's some card tricks or, or other magic tricks? Um, so there's another trick, um, which... Uh, is with a ping pong ball. Okay. So you'll recognize this. And this is a, a balancing trick. So the idea is to try and uh, throw the ball in the air and balance it on my head. All righty. All right, let's see how this goes. Drum roll. Ooh, very good. That is amazing. Did the glasses <laughs> good, help? Isn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's awesome. These tricks will kind of give you a taste of what the, of the show what is about. Which is basically like. you're trying to have a bit of fun. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you have one more? I understand. I have one more. Another. I have one more trick. Okay. Which is uh, nothing to do with Seattle. The 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 bocce balls we do because there's a bocce ball arena there. The ping pong ball trick is there's a ping pong ball table there. Oh. But we okay. do tricks about fire because there's a the, the statue to fireman there and all. This one has absolutely nothing to, to do, do with, with anything. It is yeah. a but medical it is glove. Just just a, a bizarre trick that um, we like to do because people uh, people enjoy it. So uh, here goes. <laughs> Are you sure that you feel brave enough to do this? Actually, you? this one's broken. I'm going to need to oh get another dear. one. Oops. Get another one? But he's got a spare glove, That's as right. people do when they're professional. Absolute professional. That's right. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. Carefully, carefully. Pulling it down over his ears. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, don't do not do this at home. Yeah, please don't, because I'm afraid he's going to suffocate. Do we know? If you um, work in a bank, don't like be the scared. Heimlich or the <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I've just had a heart attack. I've dropped my cards. I'm sorry. I would be like the perfect customer. I love dumb fun. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so that's a taste of what we yes. do. So, as you can somebody read that? Because I'm. Just, <laughs> would you read that for me? Um, the Strange Seattle Walking <laughs> Tour runs every night at seven through September 30th. That's right. Okay, thank you. Thank Still you. ahead, simple and solid ways to save money on your next grocery bill. I'm fine. We'll be back after this. <laughs>